Hi guys, let's watch this video from Soko Films, where a pastor delivers a hard-hitting critique of Islam that leaves the Muslim audience in silence. He brings up questions that challenge the very foundations of their beliefs, leaving them with no response. This intense exchange is a must-watch for anyone interested in the raw, unfiltered debates that take place at Speaker's Corner. Stay tuned to see how it all unfolds. How sure are you? No, 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 don't touch Are you going to paradise? How do you go to paradise? Share the gospel. Share the gospel. Share the gospel. All messengers. I believe by Jesus. I believe by Musa. I believe in Muhammad. What do you believe in? You believe that God has a child like you. I want you to do me a favor. God is there, my And this is where we separate the boys from the men. Muhammad says he came to confirm what was written. So he must have had an ideology of what was given before in the Gospels and the Injil. Okay. Do you know the Quran well? Okay. Do me a favor. This, for the witness of the eyewitnesses, is called a Tunak. Okay. Could you read Genesis 1 for me, please? Hold the book. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Get this. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. You have to listen. So, I'm going to do the same stuff now. This is the Torah. This is the Gospel and Angel. We are going to correspond now. This was written before, and this came after. Now, that says in the beginning, mine says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Are we corresponding? Yes. Are we understanding each other? Yes. Now, find the same in Quran for me. Because you came to confirm what was written before. What, 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 what? what? Oh. Sir, sir, this is Tanakh, Torah, in Jill. They both correspond with the big Genesis beginning of the earth. Now, from Quran, because Quran says it's final revelation of Allah. Muhammad is a seal of all prophets. The Torah and everything he knew because the angels told him. Okay, find in Quran, Genesis, the beginning of the earth. How was the world created? We don't have one. We have many. The reason why I brought this conversation up is this. You say Bible corrupted. You say Muhammad is a seal of all prophets. You say they have all the knowledge of the past. Now, Muhammad came 600 years after Jesus, prior to 4,000 years in existence with the Jews and Israelites. The entire Bible is Jews. A battle with God and the Jews. Oh, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. Fine, Quran for me. How did God create the heaven and the earth? It must confirm with these two, you know. It, the first, the second, and you have the last. So for the last to come, you have to correspond. What? What? We have a problem now. We have a problem now. There is a problem now. There is a problem now. And this is the problem now. Let me explain the problem to you. Sir, this is my explanation. I have been to Buckingham Palace. I've seen King Charles. I've seen the Queen. I've seen Harry. And I've seen William. And I come back out and tell you, yeah. I saw them, they were there. You are telling me I didn't saw them and they're not there. How do you know? You know what the question is. This is a bare I this is a concept of when you steal people's the person who authorized Quran. He's not a good editor. You know why he's not a good editor? Because every biblical aspect of Bible in text. Prophet, time, and century is dated. It is dated. From Genesis, it tells you all the genealogy of the Adam family. Mm. Sorry, sir. How long did Adam live? You don't know. 
So what did Muhammad come to confirm? No, 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 this is, this is even more, this is more crazy. Confirm everything. Why should I know how many years Adam lived? Oh, so this God is a deceiver then? Apparently, yeah. A deceiver. So, so hold on a minute. Oh, no, 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 this is the problem now. This is the problem. What's the problem? This God is going to judge the world, world, world by Quranic standard. But yet still half the information that he needs for them to know before judgment, he doesn't give it to them. He even said to me, how many years Adam lived? I'm going to make a truth statement okay. and from an educated point of view there are some people who like to make themselves victims in the problem they create and that is religion for you to follow religion blindly without having any form of intellectual understanding of what you follow by reading it it's a problem that's where occultism comes in and that's where terrorism comes in. Right. No come book back, back. that associates with God should appoint you to follow without reasoning and understanding. Because God doesn't call you to come to him by force. Yeah, by he calls you by spirit and by free will with a choice. Right. No human being will go to hell without a choice. If there's no free will, God cannot judge the world. Okay, that's why we're here. Christianity is the only religion in human history that invites a God to live in you. Let, let me go further. This is the only religion that ascribes that God says, you know what happened? In spite of your struggles and what you're going through, I will be with you even to the end of the earth. He says for every mockery that you've been through, I've been through it so I'm with you in it. Okay, now, I am saying to anybody who profess religion, what is the compass of your religion? Who are you serving? And how sure are you into the kingdom that you were authorized to believe in? I ask you the same question with you and 1.2 billion Muslims across the world. Today, you might not know the geographic history that is happening. 250,000 Muslims in South Asia become Christian. And they're going like wildfire in Iran. And they're going wildfire but because these news are locked up from you guys. You don't know what is happening. Christ is doing something you knew. Can I share something with you? Christ is bypassing human beings. He says, because I'm going to pour my spirit over flesh one more time. And he's getting to them by dreams and vision. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. I ask the question again. I ask the question again. I ask, you, sir, I ask him again. I asked you a while ago to read from the Tanakh. Muhammad says he came to confirm what was written before. That means he must have another, had an ideology of what was written before. And if the angels were truthful, if the correspondent, I've never known no angels in biblical history that contradicts another angel's message. Let me put it this way. You said, show me where Jesus is God. If Jesus, God should come down and say, I'm God, the whole world would never believe. Because the people who followed Jesus wanted to see if you are God, where is your signs and wonders? Now, let me go further. What was the miracles of Muhammad? The best one you can give me? The best one you can give me? He split the moon. Now, how many people in that century saw the splitting of the moon? Many people? Which country? And there were 180,000 prophets. For where? Come again? All the Arabs. All the Arabs saw it. Oh. So this religion is really for Arabs then?